Hello everyone, so I was contemplating what to make for a video based on some previous suggestions and figured I'd make a quick video on something brought up during the July headline regarding upgrade features being added later in the year to make gearing up easier. Specifically, I'm talking about the multi-weapon substitute and a feature that will allow us to use specific armor and weapons from certain series as materials to create stronger weapons. I figured both were interesting enough to get my thoughts on what they could possibly be. Let's start off with the multi-weapon substitute, as this was pretty straightforward. Basically, in a previous headline, we were told that a substitute item was in the works that would allow us to use an item to get a multi-weapon we want. This likely became a thing to be worked on primarily due to how expensive it can be to get a weapon to use as a multi-weapon. Some examples of this include weapons with long grinds such as Kaiser or Rayar, or something more prominent like Tizza, Flugelguard, or Wingard, the chase weapons. The latter being more known because, oh boy, is it expensive to multi-weapon these chase weapons. I've had the displeasure of doing this twice with Flugel and Wingard, and it's not fun because of how much multis of these can cost. This is specific. This is especially true because if you play a strong or popular weapon series like I don't know soaring blades, when it comes out, this should actually save quite a bit of meta in the case of rare chase weapons that we may get later down the line. Overall, this is positive. Here's the hoping it won't have a catch to it, like our fixes getting wiped to make room for ex fixes. So we talked about multi weapon substitutes, but let's talk about the item lab edition that's going to come out with the new high rank for Stia. Now, most of what I talk about here is going to be theories based on how Sega has done stuff like this in the past with base PSO2, as well as what literally we have to go off of from NGS in the past. So in the July update, we were hinted at the usage of specific weapon series and armor to create new stronger armor and weapons. For those unaware, this is eerily similar to a feature in base PSO2. In base PSO2, you could effectively create weapons or units by using other, others as materials. This was basically just called the Zig Exchange in base PSO2, but NGS got something similar but worse called the Reso Kaiser Exchange in NGS. Uh, why is that whenever Sega remakes something to be used in NGS, it's always worse? You know what? Never mind. I'll let Sega cook this time. Anyways. Many of you that played Beast PSO2, assuming there's anyone even still left, some weapons that use this exchange were the Atlas, Trailblazer, Liberate, otherwise but Liberate, otherwise butchered to Rivelate on Global, Ophistia, Steel, and Claws weapon series. For these weapons, you need weaker weapons to create the weapons I mentioned. For example, if I wanted to make a Liberate weapon, I need a Novell weapon that had a plus 35 enhanced cap. Now, by NGS standards, considering we're at plus 90 cap, that probably sounds like child's play. But back then, if you wanted a plus 35 Novell weapon, you needed 5 more copies of that same Novell weapon. Assuming you didn't outright get it to drop as, a, as the exchange weapons, capped at plus 30, and base has an awful enhanced system that didn't age well. Also, good luck on getting a Novell weapon of the weapon type you wanted to drop as well, as it was literally easier to do the exchange. Aside from just the weapon, you also need some additional materials, which is basically the standard when it comes to exchange weapons, even in NGS. Both Kaiser, Rayar, Milik, whatever, they all go by this same rule. Speaking of NGS, the only time Sega has ever done this was with the Kaiser weapon series, and that was outright inferior of an exchange to what they did, because Rocks, the series need as a material for Kaiser, would lose its fixa, potential, thick enhancement level, and all affixes upon creating the Kaiser. Honestly, what a fantastic exchange. Anyways, in a later headline, Sega did apologize for that, and next time they did this, you'll be able to carry over stuff. So, back on topic, however, it's very likely we'll be getting a new take on this in the item level later this month, as, a, as this feature was basically just teased. Hopefully it's something that takes all the good stuff from Exig Exchange, and basically nothing from Kaiser. Now, based on the wording of sp taking specific series and turning them into stronger series, it sounds like we'll be getting a material weapon or unit and turn it into something stronger. This could mean a higher rarity weapon, or just a stronger weapon of the same rarity. They could do something like give the material weapon a weaker potential and less base attack, and then the final weapon, final version of this weapon would have the complete potential and higher base attack. Of course, as with most exchange weapons in NGS, it also likely will require something like normal material drops, like in the Ice Cubes or Dread Scales or Neil Integra as they had similar uses in the past, just without the material weapon. Of course, the same thing can also be done for units. I just use weapons as an example, as that's all NGS has really done. This is how NGS will proceed with its gearing, this is cool. 
Personally, I think having best in slot craftable weapons and then having rare chase drops as an alternative best in slot, but having both be on equal strength or close enough to equal strength would be ideal. As things stand right now, you have best in slot chase drops and then the inferior craftable or droppable weapons. This creates a problem of getting ideal fix-ups for various situations being extremely resource intensive. I'm looking at you, Malignant Dark Pulse Solar Souls, being practically requiring a band deck and Unwix 5 to clear, because, you know, those are so plentiful and easy to obtain on global. Speaking of, anyone have 200 mil they can lend me? This is a joke, please don't actually take it seriously. Either way, the gap between chase drops and peasant weapons is too large, and I hope this new item led feature could serve as a way to close that gap in the future and make gearing easier for everyone. That's really what matters in the long term. Seriously, why do we go from the strongest weapons being grindable with farming materials to RNG drops that cost all my limbs to afford? Really, Sega? Anyways, that was basically everything I wanted to talk about regarding the item lab stuff coming to MGS. There could be EX unit fixes one day, but that's something for another time when it happens, and I hope it doesn't come anytime soon, because like, they're just a fixed grand gladius hold to everything. What do you guys think or want? What do you guys want or think the new item lab feature from the headline will be? With that said, I hope everyone enjoyed this different type of video, and I'll see you around.